I'm home. Hey. What happened to you? You look terrible. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait. Who? Tell, tell me your name. T tell me your name. Ah. Uh. Okay. Where do I find him? I, I just, I just would like to talk to him. About not touching my sibling. Okay, fine. I'll not do it. How does he even come here after I kicked him out the last time? No, no, I'm serious. Didn't Toya and Shoto fret him or didn't that work too well? Well, I mean, I kind of hoped it worked. Well, you see, I'm not very terrifying except my manly arms and muscles, but I don't have a quirk, so I'm not very terrifying to most quirk users. But his quirk is stupid anyways. I'm still confused. Why are you dating him? No, because you see, um, since you started dating those boys from school, they've been mistreating you, they have been ignoring you, they have ghosted you, and they try to pull your other siblings, including your sister and me. Oh, that's just Shoto's cat. He brought it home from... I don't even know where he brought that cat from, but I'm not letting it in right now. It's, um... It kind of hates me. <laughs> what do you mean, understandable? Oh, you're so rude when you're sad. I don't get it. You want some... Um, do you want some chips? That was a uh, honey barbecue. No? Okay, fine. Then I'll eat them later. Um, I'm trying to hold the conversation, you know, just in case you you want to tell me his address or something else. Fine. Hmm. <laughs> you see, I love all my siblings the same. Except that Toya is my favorite brother, but uh, let's not talk about that. Uh, you know. It's not healthy to stay in bad relationships. If you see red flags of them treating you different than others in a in a bad way, if they treat others better than you, if they uh, make you do things you don't want to do, if they force you to co do couple activities or to force a smile on your face when you go outside even though you're not happy if they invalidate your mental health or your state of mind and you should just cut them off I know it's, it's hard 
because you think no one else is gonna love you and no one else is there for you in the way that he might be at, at the moment but trust me it's gonna get worse if you don't cut them off and you still got me and Toyo and the other two <laughs> and we're always here for you and you know that you should know that no matter what, siblings stick together. And I'm your older brother, so I need to watch out for my little sibling. <laughs> oh look, that is that smile that I love. <laughs> you see, when I was younger, when I was in my teenager years, I had some relationships that went into a toxic direction and after the first two or three I don't remember I started to learn the behaviors and behavior patterns of some people so that when I meet someone I usually tend to keep that list in front of my eyes at all times and when I see or hear something that might be a red flag I look at the list and think of things that the others did that was toxic or not good behaving and I cut that person off because we do not need the negativity and or the emotional violation that they do when they don't get what they want it's never easy and you can ask your sister Fuyumi had quite some weird experiences with men also with women but we all share that um so yeah we keep those things to ourselves because we think it's better to not share with anybody because people could judge us but there's nothing to judge about us doing a decision that could change our lives. Um, especially if it's a decision like staying with a toxic person or cutting them off for good. No one should judge that. And even if the person behaves good to some people, they don't have to particularly be good in a relationship or towards you in particular. So just know, if, you, if anyone ever messes with you, cut them off or tell us, we will cut them off for you. Maybe feed them f to the fish, but, um, anyways, um, do you wanna, do you wanna take a look at the cat? I think, I think they might like you more than me. If we can keep it. Um, well, I'm sure and NG wouldn't mind. Um, but I think Toya would have something against cats. I don't know, I just, I just feel like he wouldn't like a cat in our home. No, 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 I, I obviously mean Toya, not me. I'm, I'm not so, I'm not Toya, I, I ain't afraid of a little cat. Okay, I'm hella, I'm, I'm very scared of this cat. It, it scratched me. Do you see that? That's not a tiny scratch, that's a big scratch. It scratched me and um, it, 
it hissed at me and it was nice towards me so I, I, I don't want to interact with that cat but you, you do you do what you you want to do um if you want to take that cat somewhere else I would be glad to help <laughs> You're right, Shoto wouldn't like that. Um, maybe I could... Maybe I could say yes to keeping it if it doesn't come into my room in the middle of the night and tries to murder me with those claws of death. I'm not overacting. I'm just in a silly goofy mode, you know. <laughs> See, I, I, I knew I could make you laugh again. Look, that's what siblings are for. And I'm your brother, so you know, you can always come to me. I'll probably make you laugh. <laughs> okay, then let's... Let's see what's outside there, okay? Okay. <laughs>